on today's episode at Open at Microsoft, I go here with Danny, and we're going to see about Fluent UI and Blazor and learn how can we code some advanced components, how can we personalize them and learn more. Stay tuned. Hey, Danny, welcome to Open to Microsoft. How are you today? Hello. Thank you. I'm really, I'm doing good. Excellent. So right now we had some amazing two episodes with Fluid Y and Blazor, but I know we have some, you know, sometimes we'll have to do a more complicated situation. We need to learn how really to use other than, you know, C docs, et cetera. So uh, today let's see how can we going to do some extra things with Fluid Y. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In fact, uh, thank you for invent, invent me uh, to talk about Blazor and Fluent UI. So yes, imagine you have, for, for example, uh, you have got an application and you want to, to improve by adding icon. Talk previously about icon, uh, icons, emoji, for example, or interactivity also. And that's what we are going to look at, uh, at here. Uh, and you will see how uh, simple is it, for example, to create, to create all of that. Uh, so personally, every time I have developed application, I had some icons to get a, a cool visual rendering, for example. Uh, and it was always difficult to find a, a series of icons that respect the, the same style. Fortunately, Microsoft now offered uh, ten of thousands of fluent UI assets. So on the website there, you have a section component with the all components available in, the, in the, the library. And you have two sections. You have more of the two sections, but you have there. The first section is the icon section, where you have the possibility to search an icon for, for example, I don't know, to find or to save uh, your, your document in your application. You can select save. You have the possibility, of course, to select the size. And if you want to have the field, the field style or the regular style uh, in this way. And also, you have the emoji section, where you can find the same way you can find as you want, I don't know, I can make a search no, not about home with H, for example, and you have many uh, emoji available there. And how to use that, for example, there in the uh, icon section, if I make a search about icon, you have uh, an icon there to click on it and you can copy the code on the clipboard. But you can go also. You can go to the to, can go to the the website. For example, that the sample uh, display by uh, by Inventon in the previous episodes. So if I run the code, if I go to the the demo web page, you have the counter and you have there a list uh, menu with the list of uh, different pages. And of course, there we don't have an icon to represent uh, correctly the the page. So you can go on the uh, layout and uh, main layout page where you have the possibility there to say, okay, that's the navigation link. And you can say, I would like to add a new icon in this, in this part, for example. And so, for example, there I can say, okay, let me, sh let me show the icon about the home icon, the add square icon, the weather icon, for example, there only to add a new attribute for the existing fluent nav link. And if I compare, compile the code and I run the code, if I come back there, you will find that automatically with the new uh, icon available in this section. So that's very easy, and all components are using the same way. You have the possibility to sim simplify the development just to add some icons, just to add some emojis, just to add to some attribute to have the, the result as you want uh, in, your, in your component, for example. I see. I mean, that's incredible. And you know, I'm Gen Z. I love emoji. So let's talk about other things relating to that. So we can see that we, we added a lot of things. We can mm -hmm. add some icons. You can do register forms, etc. But I want to know, for instance, now, uh, imagine that I want to add a confirmation dialog. Do you yeah. have any clues on how we can do it? Yeah, that's an interesting and amazing uh, service. For example, the dialogue service there, it's uh, it's possible to add quickly to add uh, a new uh, a new confirmation dialogue. For example, imagine there you have a, a re register dot razor file. The register file is if I go there in the counter, you have a register form where there you have a text field. You have the possibility to select a date, for example, the birth date. You can you have also the possibility to select a country or to, or to search a, con a country. 
search friends, for example, there. And if I click on I agree, I can create the account. But there are no confirmation at this moment. There are no confirmation on the, the form to have the possibility to complete that. And so if I go to the uh, component, I would like to add uh, a new uh, a new dialogue system. So the first thing is to go to the main layout and to specify at the end of my page, I create some snippet component there. So for example, to add uh, in the main layout, to add a Fluent Dialogue Provider, that's only the component where the, the HTML, the result HTML content will be displayed, will be sent to the HTML page. And in my register.razor file, I just inject, I just need to inject the, uh, the dialogue service. So for example, the I, uh, I inject the I dialogue service and I, I will have a reference to the dialogue service to display the component. So when the validation will be done by the user, so there I, I'm simulating a, a delay of one second to simulate the, the, the connection to the database. And now I can say, okay, let me show a dialogue service. Let me show a dialogue confirmation uh, box to display your account has been successfully created, for example. And that's all. If I come back to the page and I say, okay, I agree, the, the term of my uh, component, I received the dialogue component there. So that's very easy to create a dialogue service, for example, a dialogue component at, at this moment, but that's also easy if you want to customize or about that. For example, I can go to a new Razor file, that's an empty page, an empty component, and I can say, okay, I would like to include, for example, there, a header, a Fluent Dialogue Header component, you have also the fluent footer component where you have the possibility to display the, the close button and the body, the content of the dialog box will be displayed in this case using a fluent label, two fluent label, only to say, okay, thanks, thank you, and to have more detail, for, for example, there. And when the user will click on the save button, the save async method will be, uh, will be called and you have the dialog.close async the dialog that the service injected also. You have the save, uh, the dialog that close async method will be called. And in the registry, uh, the registry form, I can just say, okay, I would like not to call the show info async method, but I would like to say, okay, that's exactly the same, but the same dialog service, but using the another, another method, the show dialog async method, and using my new account create, uh, created dialog uh, razor file there. And automatically, the system will take the, uh, the resource content and will display the resource content in the page from my user when I click on the, the confirmation button. So that's easy to create that. You can customize using icon like that. You can add emoji. You can add a link to go to the another page, for example. So you can manipulate and you can manage the whole component like that. You have all about that. You have the dialogue service. You have also the possibility to say, I would like to display a toast. For example, the toast that's displayed at the end, uh, at the top of the page. <clears throat> so you can display a dialogue box. You can display a toast. You have the possibility to display a, a wizard, for example, also. To, to go to the next page. So you have many, many type and many, many list of components already available there, and you can manage and you can change that as you want uh, in your code. That looks incredible. What's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite component, I think I prefer, I, I like to use the dialogue component, the dialogue, uh, the dialogue box, because that's used the, 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 the service, the dialogue service. But about the, the design, I like the wizard components. I found the component very cool, very interesting. We have also the possibility to customize uh, everything about that, the icon there, the, the label, the content, of, uh, for example, also. And so that uh, I found that very, very interesting. But I think the whole components are in are cool also in the system. And so you have that, for example, also. So I think everything about that uh, are also interesting the, in the library. I really like this splash screen. It's yeah. very, very, <laughs> it's very, you know, call attention a lot. Okay, so um, for if you want to know more about Blazor plus Fluent UI and all its capabilities, including the wizard, you can check our description below and you can check yeah. the GitHub and open APR. And we're going to have everything. Uh, Denis, do you have anything else I want to say for open at Microsoft? 
Yes, uh, if you want, you can go to the, the github.com slash Microsoft slash FreeNDUI dash Blazor. And you have, of course, the, 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 the GitHub there, the GitHub uh, repository. Uh, you are welcome if you, are, if you want to contribute. So uh, the, 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 the repo is there for that. Also to uh, ask your question, your discussion or your, your issue, for example, also. And if you want to have more detail and more content, you have, of, of course, the documentation, the fluentui-blazor.net Fluent uh, website where you will find the whole documentation about the whole component there. Sounds incredible. So, Danny, thank you so much for joining Open at Microsoft, folks. That's it for our amazing uh, Fluent UI with Blazor. And see you soon. And stay open for more Open at Microsoft. See ya. Thank you. Thank you.